Hi, I'm Dr. Toby Mayer at the Beverly Hills Institute of Aesthetic and Plastic Reconstructive Surgery. We're here today to talk about the types of pictures that patients bring us in every year showing the lips they like and they'd like their lips made larger. It's probably one of the most often misperformed procedures that you will see. That's why there's so many celebrities that you see that have duck lips look like that. When someone looks at you and they go, oh, did you have your lips done? That's not the kind of aesthetic result that we would like to have. Okay. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the typical kinds of results that one can achieve. This woman, who has relatively full lips, wants her lips made fuller. This is one year later, and you see the, this has been done with fat augmentation, which gives the most natural feel and texture to the lips. And this is an outstanding result because not only does it create more fullness in, within the red, but it creates a little bit of the pucker that one had before. So this is an exceptional result. This is more average, where someone just has thinner lips and they want a little bit more fullness. And this, once again, is a year later. That's done through a little incision. Fat is put in the lips. Uh, I tell patients, if you want it to look this good in a year, you have to have a little bit of duck lips for a few weeks afterward because we have to overfill lips with fat to get a good result at a year. So patients usually return to work uh, in a week after that procedure and I think it gives the best result of all the different modalities that are there and creates a natural lip. We know that this is the type of picture that everyone brings in and they say, oh, this is the gold standard. We want lips like Angelina Jolie. And one of the things about Angelina Jolie's lips that you can tell whether it's um, in her or in other patients, when patients have full lips, they have little tiny cracks within the lips. That's normal. When those little cracks are gone, where they've had an artificial filler of silicone or other types of permanent fillers put in, it creates a stiff and usually a look that doesn't have those little tiny cracks in them and it creates an artificial look. So uh, we don't like that, we still like fat. Okay, But hers are natural lips. She's never had anything done to make her lips larger. If we now look at another patient who said, oh, I'm having uh, surgery, could you take some of the fat that I have elsewhere in my body that I don't like and just augment my lips a little bit more to make them look a little fuller and more natural. You see, you can achieve an outstanding result. Doesn't look surgical. No one who uh, saw her would say, oh, she had her lips done because it's been done very conservatively. There's another procedure that we use to make lips larger in patients in their 60s and 70s. Um, there's a procedure that where you make a little incision under the nose to lift the lip. We don't like that particular procedure because it usually doesn't give enough lift to the lip. If you can see on this picture, she has severe wrinkling very, very bad wrinkling around her mouth. She's had prior surgery from another surgeon, which wasn't done very well, and you see she still looks sad because her brows are still sagging down on the bone. She has these irregularities in her lower lids with excess fat. So she's had revision surgery to elevate her brows and try to smooth her lower lids better. She's had a deep peel and this is one year later to show how smooth you can get with a deep peel. But then I've made an incision totally across her lip line to raise her lip and remove about half of the white that was up here. She has a line there, but it's a very, very fine line that you don't see. She's wearing a minimum of makeup. It's not like the television ad that you see where they have tons of makeup. So she gets an excellent result between having a lip lift 
and fat injection at the same time along with a deep peel uh, around her mouth. So it gives her a much, much more pleasant non-aged look. So if this woman comes to my office and says, gee, I'd like to look like this, can you do that? No, absolutely not. If you try to do that, you end up with that, I'm sure many of you know many movie stars who have that cold, glassy, alabaster look to their face uh, where it looks just ridiculous. But you can take this and make it look a lot better and a lot more natural and patients are happy with this as long as they understand what's the upside and what's the downside. You can look on our website for other examples of these procedures and see which one interests you. You make me feel so young You make me feel so spring has sprung And every time I see you grin I'm such a happy individual The moment that you speak